Hey guys, and we are back with Star Trek Online. Now, we're continuing right where we left off, just about to enter the bridge of the USS Artemis, the ship where we have been assigned first officer. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Okay, so. We need to get clearance and close the door. Doesn't give us a specific answer, but I would say logically close the shuttle doors first because there's no point getting clearance if the shuttle doors are still open. Not to mention we were the last shuttle, so there's no one coming in after us. So, Flores, close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Tavrell, get clearance for traffic control for the Artemis to leave the, ga the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusts only when in the vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. And we are to take our seat. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Well, it's the Ferengi, so I say just leave them, because I hate those buggers. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of my training course? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Okay, going to red alert, full power to weapons and load photon torpedoes is a bit of an excessive security overhaul, in my opinion. It's strange, which means it's questionable, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's due to aggression or they plan aggression. 
cheers up sir, better be safe than sorry. That's taking more defensive, which means they couldn't get a sneak attack on us. But then getting more information, recommend scanning for an hour. It's an emergency within an hour or be too late. So the third option's not viable. I'm going with the defensive. Chills up, sir. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Aye. So. Right, the break even should be. Sorry, I missed that. I'm getting some weird readings. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. <laughs> Klingons, of course. Rarak, come in. What happened? Rarak? Doc, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir. Let's switch. Medium high path, if that's necessary. How come the border is? Oh, God. Breaching the hull, that cannot be good. Good thing I do not have seasickness. We must be taking on a lot of damage. door on the other side. Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, that's an Orion. 
I didn't think the Arise had an alliance with the Klingons, but... Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I can reinforce the ship's shields. Okay, so let's have a left to the shield capacitors. We need to keep moving, we need to keep moving, we need to defeat the Klingons. That's a lot of Klingons. Although they're not all Klingons. While the majority are, the guy at the back looks like a Norsegan. Yeah, it's a Norsegan. That's strange. But I suppose the Federation has number number for Anthony Wright, Gareth Sareth, and Scott Noakes. Well, at least they didn't come up with like three worst names possible. Oh, it's Greb. Mispronunciation. Oh, hang on, I missed Takira. So, let's boost forward shields. Oh, we have a Klingon crew member. He must not have it easy. And finally, boost the aft shields. Number one, we got injured up here, and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. What am I going to face on my way back to the bridge? I feel the fact that they're just going to throw something. On me. Wait. Where the hell did they take Captain Cad? Uh, Taggart. I really cannot speak. Take care of these cadets. Devrail. I wonder what happened with the others. It Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. No hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Pegatosa! Very honorable. Make me. I will. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. Uh. 
bang. Direct hit to casualties on all decks. Shields, shields, fire all weapons. Weapons and shields are offline. Close and begin repairs. We've lost their signal. What now? I really don't know. We we survived, but the captain, Captain Tiger, knew what happened, and he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice, one that we all might call to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive and remember him. And we will. We will. Elisa Flores reporting for Jeta GT. So she is. Tactical bridge officer, female cadet. But with that, I'm going to end this episode here and continue with the ship tutorial in the next part. So, guys, I'll see you there. Bye.